So we're at Rancho Canada del Oro Open Space Preserve, and this is our pond restoration project. There are three ponds we're restoring this summer. This is one of them. There are two small seasonal ponds that dry up usually in May, June, and there's one big pond that is generally a perennial pond. Restoration of these ponds is important because stock ponds like these have become some of the last remaining habitat for sensitive um, aquatic species like frogs and turtles because historically they would have been um, very populous in the valley, but because we've developed a lot of our valley floor habitat, spaces like these in the foothills are some of the last remaining habitat, even though they are artificial ponds. And because they're artificial or man-made ponds, they require maintenance. And so you can see this pond back here is really not much of a pond anymore. Um, it's very silted in, um, meaning that it's not very deep, so it doesn't hold water very long into the season. So we're gonna be excavating this pond to deepen it, so it'll hopefully hold water for longer into the season. And we're gonna be repairing this berm over here that actually failed a couple of years ago. So those two things will, in, a, in combination with a few other tactics, will help the ponds last longer into the season to support some of our listed species. What we're doing at this stage of the project is dewatering all the ponds and then getting out um, all of our native critters that um, might need a little bit of help being relocated. So we're looking for western pond turtles, we're looking for uh, California newts, uh, Pacific tree frogs, um, potentially yellow-legged frogs or red-legged frogs, which are listed species. And if they're adult frogs, they're gonna be just fine. They can hop away and go find another spot to be during construction. But if they're tadpoles or maybe kind of on the borderline, that's when we're gonna collect them and relocate them downstream in Yagas Creek where they'll be a little bit safer. After the construction on these ponds, we're gonna be doing um, some planting of, of native wetland plants to replace uh, some of the ones that are lost and put even more in to support habitat for the listed species as well. We're gonna be redoing the, the fencing in here to protect from cattle impacts and um, allow seasonal access because some amount of grazing can be helpful, um, but too much grazing can be harmful. So it's a delicate balance. We're not totally sure how long it might take the turtles or frogs to return. It's possible the, in, the exact individuals that we're relocating may not return to these pond. It, it might be their, their offspring or their you know, grandchildren or great grandchildren, but they found their way to these ponds in the first place. So hopefully relocating them somewhere safe in this general area will, will support the population overall.